Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And as you've probably guessed, this one's about Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, specifically, it's about Jeff Goldblum and his antics on set. Um, Jeff Goldblum, as you know, is the master of the one-liner. Uh, the throwaway remark, the off-the-cuff line, you know, the, uh, the, the witty retort. And they often have the appearance of being impromptu. Well, that's not actually the case. Um, the report here from uh, this article in Screen Rant is that he has, well, a whole book of off-the-cuff remarks. You know, his impromptu lines. He writes them down in advance, practices them, gets them right. Well, he's a professional, isn't he? Anyway, let's take a look at this article. I shall put myself down. It's a very short one, so I'll be in and out. But uh, I shall put myself down in the corner and, uh, yeah, we'll discuss it. Here we go. So, uh, here's the article, you see, from Screen Rant. Jeff Goldblum kept a book of improvised one-liners on the Jurassic World Dominion set. Jeff Goldblum hilariously reveals that he kept a book of improvised one-liners that he would refer to while on set of the Jurassic World Dominion. The third instalment in the Jurassic World franchise is set to finally hit theatres this summer, and I can't wait. It looks fantastic, and I think... It's either going to be the best of all six films, or at the very worst, it'll be the second best of all six films. Uh, and it will see the re return of Chris Pratt's Owen Grady and Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire Deering. The film will follow on from the events of 2018's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which saw a variety of dinosaurs released into the world, with the film's final moments teasing the catastrophic fallout, which Jurassic World Dominion is now set to explore. Um, I thought it was a good film. Um, I didn't think it was as good as the first Jurassic World. I thought that was the strongest one of the two, the stronger one of the two. But it was still good. It was better than Jurassic Park 3, which I think so far is the weakest film. Um, I just thought it was a contrived storyline and it got a bit silly. But from everything I've seen from Dominion, it spectacularly uh, impresses. It really has got it. It's got big scenes. It's got small scenes. It's got a great cast. I mean, they've got the original, you know, they've got the band back together again. Um, and it's just, I think it's got the potential of being the best of the, of the six films. But we should wait and see until it comes out. Anyway, getting on with the, the piece. The release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom delighted fans with a short cameo from none other than Dr Ian Malcolm himself, a character who was originated by Goldblum. Dr Ian Malcolm first graced the scenes back in 93 with the release of Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park before going on to appear in the 1997 sequel The Lost World. Goldblum's role in Jurassic Park spawned the iconic line Life uh, finds a way and a number of highly memorable quotes and moments. Yeah, like... That's one big pile of shit. But he didn't say that in Jurassic Park 3. But I think he was talking about Jurassic Park 3. Anyway. Goldblum is now set to return in this summer's Jurassic World Dominion. Alongside fellow Jurassic Park alumni Sam Neill and Laura Dern. Who played Dr Alan Grant and Dr Ellie Sattler respectively. And she can make up here and come back and be great again after being a bit awful in Star Wars. I have nothing good to say about Star Wars, Disney Star Wars. And I will not mention it again. Not in this article anyway. Uh, now, Goldblum has revealed the secret behind some of those iconic lines, sharing that he kept a book of improvised one-liners on him at the set of Jurassic World Dominion. Speaking to Empire, Goldblum shared that while on set for the upcoming Jurassic 3 quill, he would refer to a book of Goldblum grade one-liners that he would then try and incorporate into his performance. Goldblum revealed that the lines would largely consist of obscure references, offering an example of one that referenced 1962's Get Smart TV series, sharing that they are mostly for his own amusement. And check out Goldblum's full quote below, which we will. And I won't even attempt to do this in a Goldblum-esque voice. I have a book. Oh boy, I have a ton of them. And I'll just tell you one. 
we're on a computer trying to fix something or other and somebody says, uh-oh, it started flashing error 99. And before Mahmoudi's character comes in and explains, I was going to slip in very quickly the line, error 99, is it Barbara Feldon? Now, Barbara Feldon was an agent in Get Smart, a television series from 1962 or something, who played Agent 99. So a lot of my ideas have to do with references that are totally irrelevant and of no interest or amusement to anyone who could possibly be watching a movie and inappropriate to the scene, but it tickles me. And I like that. He can put in things that like 0.1% of the population, the public watching this, will ever get. Most people won't get them. Most people will be too young or if they're old enough, won't remember it and things like that. And yet, for those few that do, it's very clever and it's very pleasing. It's little Easter eggs for them in the know. Uh, and I, I just, I admire things like that. I do like clever, you see. Anyway, this hilarious revelation from Goldblum was later corroborated by uh, fellow Jurassic World Dominion co-star Howard, who shared that the actor would go through his lines and cross them out through the day, revealing that... He is, uh, she has never seen anyone pitch more dialogue. Goldblum appears to be incredibly excited to return to his role. I've got to be say, I'm very excited about him returning to the role, um, alongside Neil and Dern. And ditto for those two. With the actor recently taken to Instagram to share some sweet photos of himself alongside his former Jurassic Park co-stars. A recent teaser for Jurassic World Dominion offered all this is the first official glimpse of the dino-loving trio back again together, with many excited to see Goldblum, Neil and Dern return to their beloved characters. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this film is going to be great. It's going to be massive. It's going to be one of the highlights of summer. Uh, and I shall certainly be there. You know, big popcorn, big coke, big arse in seat. Not missing a minute of it. So, uh, yeah. I shall finish here because I said it'd be a quick one. I don't want to drag it on too long. Um, I will come up and we will roll off and finish. Goldblum is just one of those actors who, when he gets on set, it doesn't matter who else is on that set, he becomes the star. He's a very, very big, imposing man, but his personality is massive as well. Uh, and he has a, a delivery... Uh, a, a presence and he, he just he just eats the scenery um, and then to come up with clever little ditties and lines he's a he's a great actor I mean I think he is certainly going to be the star of the show I mean you, you've got your uh, your Chris Pratt and your Rice Dallas Howard and they're, ostensibly they're the stars because they're the new troopers and the others are coming into their film but you just know that in every scene in which uh, Jeff Goldblum is in, you're going to be looking at him. You don't care who's sitting with him, standing with him, standing behind him, doesn't matter. You're going to be looking at him and listening to him. And that that is a sign of a true star. And then for him to come up with these little one-liners and witty, you know, witty things, it's just gold. It is box office gold, isn't it? But I think this whole film is going to be box office gold. Uh, everything I see about it looks magnificent. Uh, from the smallest thing, you know, the tiny little details, up to the huge big set pieces, the action shots, even the cinematography. And I don't, I could be one of these people who gets very boring about that, and I don't want to be. But even the cinematography is fantastic. It, it's just full on, well, well placed. You know the, the the camera movements coming in. It's it, there's a there's a there's a million things that go on in production that the average person doesn't understand. I don't mean that in a in a patronising way. It's just that there's so much there that you don't you don't know unless you know. I mean, little jobs that you don't even think about. Like you know, you'll see the names go up on the screen. Focus puller, and that's where you're pulling a camera in at the same time as folk, pulling the focus out, for example, but you might be doing it while the camera's traversing left. And getting that right is very, very hard, but makes for a fantastic shot. Uh, I've made a film and I actually did and, and wrote this into the camera script when I was making the film that I wanted um, the camera to move from the barrel of a gun, barrel of a rifle, keeping everything blurred. I only wanted 
but a focal depth well looking at you a focal depth of about that but that way as it moved down the rifle barrel and then as it got to the end of the rifle i wanted to pull the focal length out so that you didn't move the camera beyond that point but the focal length came out to reveal the face of the person firing the rifle and i wrote this down and i had a very very good cameraman and he did the movement but he had a focus puller to do that and when you see the shot it's like oh that really is good but it's on the screen for like a split second it's on the screen for if it's on the screen for a second i'd be very surprised but i know that how difficult it was to get that now that's in one little 10 minute short these guys are doing shots like that left right and center for a two hour 40 minute film it's a really long film i think the runtime is two hours 40 minutes so you can imagine how complex the whole shoot has been so I, this is why I think it's going to be visually the best film. Story-wise, it's got to be up there. And then with these stars, it's just going to be... Oh, well, I just can't tell you how good it is. I think we're all excited. You're watching this video. You're excited. You wouldn't be watching this if it was of no interest to you. Anyway, I'm going to round off now because I've gone on a bit too long. Uh, so, if you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like, leave a comment and until next time stay safe, stay well and goodbye.